Hi, let me ask you, have you ever heard about diplomacy survey and what exactly does this type of surveying does? Let me explain briefly what is deformation survey. Deformation survey is a monitoring survey that monitor the systematic measurement and tracking of the alteration in the shape of dimension of an object as a result of stresses induced by applied loads. So basically, deformation survey is a survey done to the finished project to inspect if there is any alteration or change within the shape and dimension of the finished structure. So now, what exactly does this survey is meant for? This deformation survey is performed purposely by a surveyor to provide specialist engineers with important input data that will be used in the analysis of structural deformations and action to be taken to deal with the causes and consequences in order to mitigate or eliminate possible risks and structural safety. By now, I'm sure you all have a slight idea on why and why we need information survey, right? My friend just now did explain briefly about it. So now, how to perform this survey and what instrument we will use for this process? For the very first and the most basic instrument used is total station. Surveying job is equal to the uses of total station. Total station is an electronic and optical instrument used for surveying and building construction. It is used to measure horizontal and vertical angle as well as slope distance from a single setup. The total station then will be attached to a tripod. Tripod is a stand that function to place any survey instrument that has the tri branch such as theodolite. Next instrument is a prism. Prism basically is a reflector. It is used to return the transmitted beam to the instrument to allow a distance to be determined by time of fleet or phase comparison. The prism also will be attached to a tripod that has a tri batch on it. Therefore, there will be two tripod used in this surveying job. A leveling staff is also included in this deformation survey. A leveling staff is graduated wooden or aluminium road used with a leveling instrument to determine the difference in height between points or height of points above a vertical datum. The function of a leveling staff is to determine the difference in height between points or height of points above a datum surface. We have included the leveling staff, thus we need to include the instrument that capable to read the leveling staff. This refer to the outer level. Outer level is an optical instrument used to establish or verify points in the same horizontal plane. So basically, the outer level is used to measure the height and elevation of the ground. You must think the formation survey need a lot of hard work as they are quite few of instruments involved by now but fret not we will explain the procedure of the formation survey in a bit now let's proceed with several other instruments left another instrument is a measuring tape this most basic instrument here is used to measure the high instrument last but not least all the data collection by the auto level and the total station are needed to be recorded a field book is used to record the data which later will be used during the data processing. The target building that we choose is Menara Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah or we call it Menara Sa'as. The deformation work will take place on the top of Mitran's building in University Technology Mara which is close to the instrument store and Menara Sa'as. This side area is the most suitable for us to do the deformation work on the tower because this area is not obstructed by any tall buildings or tree, allowing us to see all the corners of the tower. The most important thing to do before starting a new job is to do a reconnaissance. Walk around the field and identify three control points position CP1, CP2 and CP3 which are intervisible to all target point. You must ensure the control point has a strong geometry. Properly establish these control points using packs. Then, we will set up the instrument the control point that have been established. At each control point must have a coordinate value. So we have to do a traverse first, assuming one of the CP has a coordinate of 
and 1000 E 1000 and elevation of 50 meter. Measure the instrument height at every CP. After that, we can get the coordinates at all control points through traversing. To start the formation survey, the total station must be set up at CP1 and prism at CP2 as reference. Set the back bearing at 0 degree on face left. Then point the telescope to the target point A and record the horizontal and vertical bearing. You can design your own table to make it easier for you to record the bearing. After that, rotate the telescope to the TPB and record the bearing. This procedure will be repeated to other target point TP. It is better if more than 6 target points are taken. All readings are considered as set 1 at face left. When done, close and finish the reading at CP2. Change the telescope to face right and set back bearing as 180 degree using CP2 as reference. Repeat the same process, record the TPA, TPB and so on. When done, close and finish the reading at CP2. Move the total station to CP and prism at CP1 as reference. Repeat all the process which is record the horizontal and vertical bearing of target points at 0 degree at face left and 180 degree at face right. When done, close and finish the reading at CP1. Don't move the total station yet because we will move the prism to CP3 as reference object. As the total station is still on CP2, set the back bearing at 0 degree at face left and record the bearing. Then change to face right, set the back bearing at 180 and then record the bearing. After done, close at the reading at CP2. Move the total station to CP3 and prism at CP2 as reference object. Then all the process repeated as before until finish. Now, we will explain the software used to make the adjustment for the data that have been recorded. The software used for the deformation survey is Tarnet. All the data recorded will be keyed in into the notepad, then uploaded into the Starnet. The result for this adjustment will show the chi square test at 5% level exceed upper bound or lower bound. Other than that, it will show the adjusted coordinate for all control points and the target points. So, do you understand now how the formation works? This job may seem difficult, but if you understand the concept and the way it works, the job will be easier. The main purpose for monitoring and analysis of structural deformation is to check whether the behavior of investigated object and its environment follow the predicted pattern so that any unpredicted deformation could be detected in early stage. In the case of abnormal behavior, to describe as accurately as possible the actual deformation status that could be used for the determination of causation factor which trigger the deformation.